morning guys and welcome to the updike family homestead it's really early this morning um and it's been raining so i haven't been able to get out to the rose garden um lately because of all the rain um and i came out this morning just to kind of do a walk around kind of dehead some of the or deadhead some of the rose bushes and um i don't know god just gave me a message and I really wanted to share it with you guys this morning. Hey y'all, we are the Updike family located in the mountains of Tennessee. We're excited to share our homesteading journey with all of you. From the farm to the table, we'll share the ins and outs, the ups and downs, from recipes and how-tos to our adventures of running a homestead. So come on in and join us. From our home to yours, welcome to the Updike Family Homestead. Okay, so let's talk about deadheading rose bushes first of all. Now, James and I have been married for almost 20 years. It'll be 20 years this August. Um, and we have been super blessed. And he knows that I love rose bushes and every house that we've ever lived in, which it hasn't been that many, but you know, um, ever since we started having children, he has bought me a rose bush um, every year for Mother's Day. And of course, when we move, he kind of starts all over again. Um, and I have been a mom officially, um, I guess, 18 years. And um, so I should have 18 rose bushes. <laughs> at least but because of the move you know we have to kind of start over and that's and that's all right because the rose bushes have always been a blessing the sun is coming up so I'm squinting a little bit um, but um, my mother-in-law is actually the one who taught me about rose bushes now my grandma you know she always had rose bushes and they always look so beautiful um, but you know the lessons of learning how to grow roses or take care of roses came from directly from my mother-in-law and she taught me the importance of deadheading so I want to actually um, show you I'm gonna, I'm gonna set my coffee pot coffee cup down apparently I haven't had enough this morning okay so I'm gonna bring you in um, a little closer just so that we can kind of talk about what deadheading means um, all right so I think you can see yeah all right so these right here these are roses that have already bloomed we're gonna go ahead and deadhead those and that's just cutting them off um, so that they're not on here anymore first of all it makes the rose bush look much prettier but the importance of deadheading a rose bush is to trick it to think hey I need to keep reproducing I need to keep growing so the you know as long as you are deadheading your roses which is just cutting off the roses that have died you're going to continue to get new blooms now we got all of these roses um, I say we my husband and my kids got me all of my rose bushes that are in my garden um, you know when they were little bitty things and Oh, um, they have just really, really blossomed. I have to show you this one right here. Check this one out. Do you see this one right here? This thing is massive. Now we're not gonna talk about the weeds <laughs> that are in the rose garden because um, we are in the process of revamping the rose garden a little bit. We've kind of expanded it. We're bringing in some new mulch. Um, we're gonna be laying out new garden fabric. Um, to kind of help me um, keep control of the weeds a little bit better. And you see, I don't know if you saw Storm, um, but this rose bush right here was just a little bitty thing when we first got it, and it has just really grown. Now, we're gonna talk about two things this morning um, that life lessons that have to do with the roses and deadheading. You know, God's word says, that if anything in your life causes you to sin, that you should cut it off. Because we cannot grow in Christ if we are continuously living a life that is in sin. And it's hard sometimes. Like, it, it hurts my feelings sometimes to see a rose, know that it's, it's time to cut it out. 
but I know that it's necessary in order for my rose bush to continue to grow. And it's that same way. If you have people in your life that are causing you to sin or people in your life that are not living in a way that you know God has called you to live, you are to cut them off. And the reason that we do that is so that God can continue to grow us so that we can become the person that he created us to be. And so it's important, just like cutting the road, the dead, you know, cutting the dead roses off to trick the rose bush. And I don't want to say trick, but to convince the rose bush to continue to grow and reproduce. I know that I have to deadhead these roses. And you know, there's another life lesson in a rose bush. Now this rose bush is beautiful. It is growing. It is, it has, it, look at all of these blooms. I don't know if you can see it, but there are hundreds of blooms on this rose bush. Now, here's the really cool thing this rose bush would not be like this if the roots were not good. Now, sometimes God has to cut everything out of our lives, sometimes He takes everything away, sometimes it hurts. When we go through those growing seasons where he's taking a lot of things away, maybe it's a job. For me, that's what it was. It, he took my career away from me. And, and you know, I, I, was, I was never angry at God, but I was, I was hurt. I was lost. I felt like I didn't have a purpose. Um, but then he opened the door for something else. And that was the fulfillment of our homestead, to continue to homestead. I got this last school year with my son. Um, his junior year of high school, I was able to homeschool him. And I would not have been able to do that if I was still in the career that I thought I was going to be in for the rest of my life. So sometimes when he takes things away, when he cuts those things out, it hurts. Now I want to show you another rose bush, okay? Now this one, this one right here, do you see this guy? I thought it was dead because everything let me pull these weeds away really quick so you can kind of see all of this right here down here at the ground this was all dead stuff and i told my husband i said you know he said well do you want me to dig it up and and throw it away and i said no i said let me see what god's going to do with it and lo and behold this year we had a surprise look at this it has started to grow again all of this green is good all of this green so i had to cut away i had to cut all of the dead away in order for the rose bush to take hold and to start producing fruit if you will the flowers but the reason that it was able to do that was because the roots were grounded it had still had good roots. So sometimes when God takes everything, or what it seems like God has taken everything away from us and, and we just feel so broken, so dead, if your roots are still in Christ, he is going to grow you and he's going to bring you new life. I mean, isn't that just, look at this. This is a beautiful rose. I was so excited when I saw that. I was just, I was so excited when I saw that rose bush start to bloom again and start to grow again. And pretty soon, as long as I continue to take care of that rose bush and I continue to feed it, just like God's word, if you are continually feeding yourself with God's word and you're surrounding yourself with wise men, not foolish men, then you're going to continue to grow in Christ too. And pretty soon, you are going to see this beautiful creation in the mirror and in yourself, in your heart, that God had planned for you all along. So there's just so many life lessons in, in my rose garden. And this is one of my favorite places to come and just talk to God and, and you know, to see the growth that he has provided um, is just astounding to me. I mean, we have one... How many do I have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight rose bushes, I guess. And um, it's just to see it all come to life and to see how God has worked in our lives personally 
But remember, have your roots grounded in Christ. So even when he feel, you feel like he's just taken everything away, um, you're going to continue to grow and you're going to continue to bloom and cut the things out of your life that you know are stumping your growth. I hope that this message blesses each of you today and I hope that you all have a wonderful weekend. It's Saturday here and there are clouds, but it's not supposed to rain. So I'm hoping I can get some more done out here in the garden. Be blessed everyone. Bye.